So we've done Bianca and Trixie. Who are we building next? Well, we can't really have Trixie without Katya, can we? I mean, I guess. I hope she doesn't hold a grudge against us for building her after Trixie. Eh, we'll just give her a hammer and let her take out her frustrations on some nails. Katya is a beloved drag queen known for her eclectic fashion sense and her ability to make everything look like it's straight out of a fashionable Russian hooker's wardrobe. Katya is also very acrobatic, and she uses those skills to be able to help temper her anxiety. We saw in season 7 that Katya had anxiety, and she was able to tackle it by All Stars too. So we're going to try and incorporate that into the build as well. Katya also has a prized collection of knickknacks that she has in her apartment, so we're going to incorporate that into the build as well. Katya is a variant human. She gets a plus one in two stats and one feat. Katya knows English and Russian and is actively learning other languages, so our feat is going to be linguist, which gives us a plus one to it and three other languages of our choice. Our background will be entertainer, which gives us proficiency in acrobatics and performance. We'll also get proficiency with a disguise kit and a musical instrument of your choice. For stats, we're going to use the standard point array and add plus one to dexterity and wisdom from our race. That means we have strength eight, dexterity 15, constitution 14, intellect 10, wisdom 12, and charisma 13. When we add our racials, that changes it to 8 strength, 16 dexterity, 14 con, 11 int, 13 wisdom, and 13 charisma. We need our stats like this for multi-classing purposes. Before we get into this build, if you like our content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support helps us create more content and improve our channel. We are going to put our first three levels in rogue. Rogues give us saving throws in dexterity and intellect, and proficiency in thieves' tools and light armor. We are going to choose athletics, perception, deception, and stealth for proficiencies, since Katia can move smoothly around the workroom and the runway. We also get expertise in two skill proficiencies of our choice or one skill in the thieves tools. We will put our expertises into acrobatics and performance, but you could choose thieves tools and have it work as well. We also get sneak attack, thieves can't, and cunning action. Our roguish archetype will be thief. Now wait, thief doesn't mean Katya is a thief. It can also mean that she enjoys procuring small treasures that are meaningful to her. Thieves get fast hands and second story work. Now when you use your cunning action, you can disarm a trap, open a lock, or take the use an object action, and you can do it while climbing a wall with no movement penalty. Next, we are going to take five levels in Monk. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't in the poll? Well, Rogue was. You lied to me. You lie. Anyway, we picked Monk because Katya actively works on her anxiety. And what better way to do that than meditate and focus on strengthening your mind? Five levels of Monk give us the features Unarmored Defense, Martial Arts, Dedicated Weapon, Key, Unarmored Movement, Key Fueled Attack, Quick and Healing, Deflect Missiles, Slow Fall, Focused Aim, and Extra Attack. Many of these abilities work in tandem with Rogue. Dedicated Weapon allows you to make your Rogue weapons Monk weapons. Martial Arts lets you make an Unarmed Strike as a bonus action if you took the attack action with a monk weapon on the same turn. Key lets you use Flurry of Blows, Patient Defense, and Step of the Wind. You won't use Step of the Wind very often because Cunning Action functions similarly and doesn't use valuable key points. Unarmored Defense and Unarmored Movement are fantastic for a rogue. Unarmored Defense gives you 10 plus Dexterity plus Wisdom modifier for armor. Unarmored Movement allows a monk to move an extra 10 feet if they're not wearing any armor. Extra Attack is amazing for any martial class, and you can attack three times in one turn with this and martial arts. Our monastic tradition will be Way of the Shadow, which gives us Shadow Arts. At third level, this lets us use two key points to cast any of the following for free. Darkness, Dark Vision, Pass Without Trace, or Silence. We also get the Minor Illusion cantrip. Since we get an ASI while leveling up our monk, I would suggest putting it into decks for better armor, more accuracy, and more damage. This build comes alive at level 6, but it really shines from level 8 onward. From here, it's up to you to go more rogue or more monk, or even add fighter as a multi-class. If you go further into rogue, you can eventually use magical items without meeting any of the prerequisites. Your sneak attack also gets stronger, and you get great features such as uncanny dodge, expertise, and and evasion. If you go further into Monk, you'll get more key to empower extra attacks, flurry of blows, and other key-based techniques. As a Shadow Monk, you'll also be able to teleport up to 60 feet while in dim light or darkness. Your unarmored movement and unarmored attacks also get better. If you're feeling a little frisky, you can take a two-dip and fighter for second wind and action surge. And that's Katya! Thank you for making it to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. May your day be fabulous and fierce.